Dr. Sperling, when you hear stories like this about early onset Alzheimer's, we have it with Lauren's mom and my brother and with Ken, how common is that? Well, it's relatively rare, but there are actually over 200,000 people in our country who have early onset Alzheimer's disease, and I think we're recognizing it more and more in younger people. Alzheimer's disease affects people, unfortunately, at all stages uh, of adulthood, and the incidence, the likelihood of getting Alzheimer's disease doubles every decade over the age of 50. Oh, my gosh. And how do you distinguish between somebody who's just forgetful and somebody who really has the first signs of the well, disease? Yeah, that's a, a difficult issue even still. We often uh, worry that we ha when we have a senior moment, you know, we forgot our keys. Oh, I must be getting Alzheimer's disease. And sadly, the difference is that in Alzheimer's disease, people start to forget what the key is for and how to use a key. But we also realize that some of those senior moments that we used to think were so normal probably aren't normal. And in some cases, they really are early signs of Alzheimer's disease. And we have to do a better job of picking it up. Of, of diagnosing it early, yeah. Ken, it's hard for you. You have good days and you have bad days, but you wanted to be here to get out a message. Yes. What is the message that you want to get out? Um, it could happen to anybody, and it don't care how old you are or how many kids you got. It, it, uh, it's, uh, and as it was said, there's just no cure right now, so it's, uh, very scary.